Hello, guys. Namaste. So good to be with you again. Want to wish you a happy new year. Uh, I know 2021 was challenging. 2020 was challenging. Um, we'll see how this next one pans out, but always hoping for the best. And beyond that, always knowing that we are among the fortunate ones who know how to plug into that which doesn't change, that which is the same, that which does not have good years and bad years, you know, the, the good stuff, the, the inside stuff, the samadhi, the nirvana, the kingdom of heaven, the beingness, the I, the I am. That doesn't change. That's not subject to the ups and downs of, of time and, and conditions and other people, or even, or even this people, even ourselves, even our own good choices and bad choices, our own mistakes, our own, you know, whatever. It, beingness is beingness. It's that, that deep, boundless ocean of infinite okayness that we can always dive into, always, because it's always our own innermost nature. Nothing can come between us and it. All we can do is, you know, at worst, get distracted from it for a while, forget that we have access to that, but sooner or later we remember again. Um, I thought I would read you uh, a little essay that I wrote about the new year, um, this I send out a, a newsletter, kind of a blog uh, once a week to um, the people that I, I who come for used to come for meditation at my house. Now since quarantine, we're doing it all on online on Zoom, and um, this is a little something about New Year. So I title this "Happy New Moment." Happy New Moment. <clears throat> New Year's Eve is silly. Out of the whole year, we single out one more or less arbitrary moment as special. We get excited. We watch a ball drop. We explode gunpowder into the sky. We sing a Scottish song with mysterious lyrics. And then we return to a year of regular, unexciting moments. But if we look a little deeper, it all makes sense. Most of us are not awakened enough yet to fully appreciate that every moment is actually now. Neither past nor future, it's outside of time. We slog through time seeking happiness. We find happiness in those moments when we stop slogging and rest in now. So we choose one representative moment and to help us focus on it, we use a countdown or a dropping ball as a meditative device. Then the exploding fireworks signify the shimmering, luminous happiness that's revealed when we crack the moment open with the fullness of our attention. When we see one moment like that, perhaps that moves us a little closer to seeing all moments like that. That's my New Year's wish for you. And by the way, that mysterious, that mysterious Scottish lyric, All Lang Syne, is by the 18th century poet Robert Burns. The title, All Lang Syne, literally means old, long since. That is, old, bygone times. That's a deep teaching. In the very moment that we celebrate timeless happiness, we also pay our respects to time. We give time its due by remembering old acquaintance, our bygone loved ones and cherished friends, the vanished world of our youth, all the things we lost to time. Yeah, we see that. Loss, loss, loss. But even as we look it in the eye, we can heal it. How? With love, with compassion for ourselves, for the others, for the whole process. We'll take 
a cup of kindness yet.